I want to start out by saying all praises to Yahweh, Abba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, Rikah Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great male starting real well. I don't want to say shalom one to the brothers out there preaching and teaching the truth worldwide. I don't want to say shalom one to the hopeful lit. <coughs> Today's lesson is going to be sitting around um, New Year's Day traditions. <coughs> And ready, I pretty much got pulled up, you know, some of the uh, traditions that people celebrate for the uh, New Year's Day. And today, of course, is December 31st, 2019. New Year's Eve tomorrow, of course, will be so-called New Year's Day, according to Esau's calendar. And this is the so-called seven lucky foods to eat on New Year's Day. Black-eyed peas, greens. And cornbread, the luck factor, even folks who aren't from the southern United States go all in on eating black eyed peas and leafy greens for <coughs> for good luck on New Year's Day. And Ray Dyan says, what are you supposed to eat on New Year's Day? What to eat on New Year's Day according to popular folklore? <clears throat> if these foods are eating on New Year's Day. You're guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, that's what you saw. I got our people bugged out. <laughs> Say they're guaranteed. You know how many years my family ate this damn stupid ass food? Niggas still would have broke out here. Jake. <laughs> well, Jake foolish. <clears throat> You're guaranteed good luck throughout the year. Peas and beans symbolize coins or wealth. True, choose traditional black eyed peas, lentils, or beans to make a dish seasoned. <coughs> gotta put that season with pork, ham, or sausage. Jake gotta throw that ham hock in there, man. <coughs> Jake, hey, that, that's what Jake gonna do. You gonna throw that damn ham hock in them greens. And uh, personal testimony, mess around and, you know, find out about the truth. And you know, I, you know my family. You know they had the um, chicken, some ham, um, whatever out, <coughs> greens and cornbread. Man, you know I got the chicken, whatever. And you know me just, just not really thinking about how Jake prepared food. I grabbed the greens, and I bit into it, and then I said, "Oh shit." Fucking Jake. I always sees this motherfucker with some damn ham hock. So, I mean, you know, I ate that one little bite, whatever. You know, I ain't eat the rest of it, but... Hey, you got eight hey, brothers out there. When you go around your family, you got to remember how Jake prepares their food. Jake seasoned everything with fucking ham hock, neck bones, all that shit with their greens. Like, you got you to gotta keep that in your... You know, in, in your subconscious mind. So, you know, if you go around your family <coughs> and you grab a plate, I know you probably want some of them green. Let them keep their fucking greens. They can keep that shit. Get your piece of chicken, whatever, some cornbread, and, and keep it moving. I even, yeah, so just, just, just keep it moving on that aspect. <coughs> So, as I said, you know, that's some of the, you know, traditional foods. And Jake also, they, they I know uh, I'm from the South, you know, I'm from Georgia. So, they had traditions like uh, have a male come into your house. That If a male come in, the first person in your house, you get good look. That shit didn't work. If you wash clothes, you wash them out of your family. Man, niggas dying every day. So I'm like, Jake just come up with all kind of just, just crazy sayings. And hey, that's our people. And I'm finna jump into some scriptures right now. <coughs> all right, the first scripture I'm gonna pull. It's classic scripture. It can never get too old. Because it describes, you know, all the tribes, northern and southern kingdom. <clears throat> Hosea 4 and 6. 
<laughs> it says my people. Who people? Israelite. So, I mean, th these are like personal pronouns. I'm like, Esau of all people, I mean, he understands what a personal pronoun. I mean, my people, is it whole world? No. It says, my people, the Israelites, are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, and you want to celebrate New Year's Day by eating some peas and lentils, and it's going to give you all this massive wealth, and you eat some greens, and it's going to give you dollars throughout the year. <sighs> because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the Heavenly Father is going to reject you because you want to follow the traditions of men. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. That's clear. Because our people want to, <clears throat> you know, celebrate this New Year's, bring it in, you know, with a bang, get, you know, watching the ball drop, doing all these, you know, just abominable acts. <laughs> hey, the Heavenly Father, he's going to forget you. So the next uh, scripture I'm going to pull is in Jeremiah 10th chapter, second verse. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to just start at the first verse. <coughs> Hear ye the word which, um, which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. This is specifically to the house of Israel. Nobody else. Thus said Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. It's clear. Doesn't need any breakdown. Don't learn the way of these other nations. So what if, if the other nations want to celebrate Christmas, which just passed, they want to celebrate this, this, this wicked New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, let them do it. But you, O house of Israel, it says what? Learn not the way of the heathen. And, and what else? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Like we just had uh, with this, <coughs> I think it was um, the longest um, eclipse or something like that just happened um, on December 26th. It said, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen <coughs> are dismayed at, at them. So we're not to be dismayed at solar eclipse. Um, blood moons and things of that nature <clears throat> because the heathen they are dismayed at them and the next uh, precept I'm going to go I'm going to stay in the book of Jeremiah and I'm going to go to I don't know why I did that but I did Jeremiah 4th chapter and 22nd verse for my people is foolish. <clears throat> they have not known me. They are sottish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And and, and that's our people. You know, that's Jake. <clears throat> Northern and the Southern Kingdom. I mean, they, they wise to do evil, but to do good, our people, they don't have no knowledge of it. I mean, they would rather go and spend $80, or $100 on this. Actually, Jake, Jake done spent all kind of money on Christmas. Christmas um, gifts, uh, food, and then turn around and spend all his money on his New Year's Day celebration. And they ain't going to have no food for the beginning of the year. I mean, it, it, it's mind-boggling. I mean, they spent all this money just for one meal. And then they turn around, going to be scraping pennies for the whole month of January. But hey, as the scripture said, <clears throat> they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And the last um, precept I'm going to pull from is, is I'm going to go into the book of Proverbs, first chapter, 22nd verse. First chapter. <coughs> uh, uh, Proverbs 1, 22nd verse. 
How long you simple ones will you love simplicity? That's Jake all day. They love simplicity. And scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. <clears throat> Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make I will make known my words unto you. How is the heaven Father making his word known unto <clears throat> to the house of Israel is through the prophets. But Jake, Jake don't want to listen to the prophet. And because <coughs> Verse 24, because I have called and ye refuse. Yeah, the heavenly father is calling to you through the prophets. But as it said, the house of Israel, they refusing to hearken to the voice of the prophets. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. That's Jake. You know, we go out there, make videos. We try to say, hey, you know, you shouldn't be celebrating Christmas. You shouldn't be uh, celebrating Easter. Oh, man, I ain't worried about that. I mean, I've been celebrating this since I was a child. I'm going to continue on celebrating. So, hey, as the scripture said, <coughs> excuse me. Get it. It's a lock in. Okay. I'm starting back at 24. Because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And that's two thirds of the nation of Israel. They don't regard um, the information that we try to put out to our people. <clears throat> because, 25, because ye have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. <clears throat> so that's what our people do. They, they, they just, they just fan their hand. They don't want to listen to what the prophets have to say. So what's going to happen next? Um, 26. I will also laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear cometh. So when Jacob's trouble happened, <coughs> Jake started getting um, just, just mowed down by Esau. With, you know, Esau got the M-wraps on him. They getting put in concentration camp. The heavenly father, he's, how is he going to laugh at your calamity? Through the prophet, you, you ain't gonna just look up in the sky and you see your howl laughing at you or your howl shy just laughing at you. No, 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 no. He's gonna laugh at you through his prophet. The same people that the Heavenly Father sent to you, that Yahweh Habashem, Yahweh Habashem, Yahweh Shah sent to you to, to warn you of the things to come. We're gonna be the same men laughing at you. <clears throat> So it says, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming. Verse 27. <clears throat> when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh, cometh as a whirlwind when the stress and anguish comes upon you. Verse 28. <clears throat> then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early. But they shall not find me. <clears throat> and I'm going to finish up with 29th verse. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. So as the scripture clearly stated, our people who have heard the truth and, and they didn't want to listen to it. They may even know to call on Yahweh, you know, and Yahweh shy. But, as, but they're not doing what they're supposed to do. So when... When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind <clears throat> and when the stress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, <clears throat> but they shall not find me. Why? Because for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. Until next time, Shalom.